Good morning, Booktube, YouTube. This is Johnny. It's been a couple days since I have made a video, and so since I'm alone here this morning, my wife left to do some errands, meet some friends for a coffee, and to talk. Here in West Michigan, it is February the 22nd. 2022 it is 9:46 in the morning here in Holland, Michigan. It is cold, it is gray, it is damp and it's raining. But we are headed towards spring, so uh, that's comforting in the midst of this cold, dreary day. Yeah, I'm in as you all know and watching my videos, I've been making videos going on five, six years. I used to make a lot more videos. I used to do it every single day, but now I just get up in the morning or when Carol's gone or on Sunday when she's at church, I just put the camera on and I just ramble away. But as you know, in the mornings I am writing in my diary. I'm on page one. 186 for the year 1222 2022 <laughs> and uh, I was uh, I read this morning well, this morning I, I did sleep which was amazing I didn't wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning I didn't wake up at 4 I woke up at around 6 which was a blessing because I've been waking up really early due to my Seneca, you know, that word there, you know, I've been showing you. Oh, that word, uh, you know, that word about my pain in my right leg. So I've been, uh, I didn't wake up, I, so I woke up and I said, well, I might as well go upstairs and make a pot of coffee, coffee, and so I did that, and, um, Carol got up and so I read this morning that's the whole point I'm still reading Reform Systematic Theology Spirit and Salvation this is my March Mammoth <laughs> uh, this is the third volume and I have read the other volumes and uh, this is the third. I think the fourth volume is projected to be out in 2003. And so this morning I read, I was, I didn't finish the chapter. It's on sanctification, part two, and it goes to uh, theological controversies, uh, celibacy and poverty, and assess, assess, assess Asceticism, but it's Roman Catholicism, their view of sanctification. Then he goes through uh, Christian perfectionism, Wesleyan Methodism, and then he. Uh, I was reading this. I, la I the last thing I read was modern second blessing theology. He goes into the history of the holiness movement, and then he went into higher life movement which I was all into when I first became a Christian back in 1970. I was in the higher life. Even when I was in, I did my internship in Houston, Texas back in the 80s, I went to a higher life movement kind of conference, <laughs> even though I don't believe in that. At one time I did. And then I was involved in the charismatic movement, uh, holiness movement, when I first became a Christian back in the 70s. And, but now I, I'm not, I'm just an evangelical, Bible-believing, reformed lover of God and the Bible and just pretty down to earth these days. And then, uh, so that, but my leg was bothering me and I was getting sleepy, so I, I stopped reading systematic theology and I dozed, but then 
I woke up because I knew my wife was going to leave and we had to have devotions and she reads a new, we read New Morning Mercies by Paul Tripp in the morning and then we pray. And I had a hard time praying because I'm kind of exhausted, I'm kind of weary, I'm kind of stressed out about my physical ailments and my buzzing in my ear and the pain in my leg and my depression and anxiety and and I tend to get really freaked out when I see world events, when I see that we might go to war with Russia and that will just be a horrible thing. So then I, when after Carol left, I got out my Jonathan Edwards and his spiritual writings. Uh, I was reading, before I may start making this video, I'm on excerpt from the tr a treatise concerning religious affections which was uh, published in 1746 here in America part one concerning the nature of the affections and their importance in religion and then I quoted this in my in my diary this quote he says uh, Jonathan Edwards Part 4, the Holy Scriptures do everywhere place religion very much in the affections such as fear, hope, love, hatred, desire, joy, sorrow, gratitude, compassion, and zeal. The Scriptures place much of religion in godly fear in so much that it is often spoken of, of as the character of those that are truly religious persons, that they tremble at God's word, that they fear before him that their flesh trembles for fear of him, that they are afraid of his judgments, that his excellency makes them afraid, and his dread falls upon them, and the like. And the compilation commonly given the saints in Scripture is fearers of God, or that they fear the Lord. And because the fear of God is a great part of true godliness, hence true godliness in general is very commonly called by the name of the fear of God, as everyone knows that knows anything of the Bible. I was thinking about that because the other day I was reading uh, Theoretical Practical Theology. I've been reading this, The Works of God and the Fall of Man, Volume 3 by Petrus Van Manstrit, translated by Todd M. Reisner. This just came out this year, I think. Yeah, this is 2021. Volume 3, and I was reading on predestination, on the doctrine of predestination. And it kind of freaked me out, but then I, I kind of trembled at God's word. I got kind of fearful when you think of God's decree of predestination, election, and reprobation. And, but, then I th but then I thought, well, you know, that's, we ought to fear God. We ought to tremble at his word. And, So, um, so I was reading, and I also have been reading, uh, I read yesterday, Rudolph of Saxony, The Life of Jesus Christ, Part 2, Volume 1, Chapters 1 through 57. As I mentioned, the fourth and vinyl, final volume in this comes out in March, and I want to finish this. And I'm on page 547. I'm on chapter 37, so I have... 20 chapters left in this to read. I've read the other two volumes, another March Mammoth. <laughs> These are all March Mammoths. This, this man, well, this is only not, about 600 pages. This is, how many pages? This is around 865 pages. And Beaky is, about 1,200. <laughs> so I've been reading these as my March Mammoths. There are people on Booktuber have mentioned about their their March, their March Mammoths. So I was reading those in the mornings. And I'm reading this now this morning. Writing in my diary. Oh, I, and when I, before I turn this video on, 
a psalm just came to my mind when I was thinking about what was going on in my life and going on in the world and all the turmoil and weary, how weary I am. And then I kept hearing Psalm 45. And so I got my little book of Psalms out. And Psalm 4, no, it was not Psalm 45, Psalm 46. It says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, therefore will it not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Shalah, Silah, there is a river, the streams thereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, and the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he has made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the ends of the earth. He breaketh the bow. He cutteth the spear and sunder. He burneth the chariot and the fire. Be still and know that I am God. And I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. And that's what came to my mind. I, just came, I was just sitting here before I turned this camera on. Psalm 46 kept going through my mind. So I grabbed this and this is what I, and I've been read, and then I decided to read it. Be still and know that I am God and I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. So that's what I have to keep in my mind. And um, when I was reading Jonathan Edwards, he was talking about in his meditations, going out into the woods and being overwhelmed by the majesty of God's sovereignty. His, and then he talks about trembling at God's word and be still and know that I am God. How's that go? Be still. He, uh, so maybe after the Lord is kind of speaking to me, kind of comforting, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Uh, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. So I have to keep the, this in my mind this today as I look at world news and look at what's going on. And Of course, America and Russia have nuclear weapons and we, I just get horrified thinking of what would happen if there was a nuclear holocaust. Besides reading those Christian books, I, last couple of days, due to all that's going on in the world, I've been reading this used book I got at Blue Stockings Bookshop last week or week before on nature. Nature, Landscape, and Natural History, edited by Daniel Hopp. Harburn. I've been reading these essays. It's easy on my mind. Uh, I've really been enjoying this. I read a couple of essays out of here. Uh, Noel Pergen, Virgin, Forever Virgin, The American View of America. Howard Inson Evans, Remembering Pioneer Naturalists. Then I read an essay by Ann Zingler, A World of Infant Variety. And then I read an essay, Howard Hoagland, in praise of John Murr. And now I'm reading an essay by John Burke, A View of Marsh, Vitality, and Nature. I'm almost done with that one. I think I got just a couple more pages. And then, so I've been reading this in the afternoons. And then I read some short stories. I got this out of the book nook couple of weeks ago or a week ago. Nights in the Gardens of Brooklyn, short stories by Harvard Swandos. So I've been reading these kind of things. I got a book coming in the mail. Also, I, I got out a, a book I, I was talking to Carol about last night, my wife. Some of my favorite books. Uh, 
Yesterday, my wife had over in the mornings her neighborhood women's book club. And people were talking about George Eliot's Middle March and how they wanted to read it, or some were saying they've heard about it. And of course, as you all know, Middle March is one of my all time favorite novels by George Eliot. But I was telling my wife, one of my other favorite books I keep is this one. It's John Cheever's The Journals of John Cheever. And I and so I got this out this morning to read today. Uh, it's one of my favorite books, this The Journals of John Cheever. And so I got this out to look at today. I recommend I all recommend John Cheever's novels. His short stories are famous. It's just one of my favorite books. This is a vintage paperback. I have this in hardback, the journals of John Cheever, downstairs in the low. I have almost all John Cheever's writings, but I highly recommend this. So yeah, so I'm writing in my diary this morning, taking my pills trying to remember that God is sovereign, that he is in control, that this is his world. He rules the nations. He is the king of glory. And that I am to bow to his divine sovereignty and, and keep before me. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. So I got to keep that in mind this today. Keep praying that God make that real to me. You know, I can read that psalm, but do I really believe it by faith? Have I embraced it? And do I trust God's word? And, and uh But, and I admit, I have my, I pray all the time for God to strengthen my faith. So that's what my goal today is. I don't have to go anywhere today. I can sit here, I can pray, I can read God's word and, and see God as my refuge. So I hope you're having a, this is a Tuesday. <laughs> it's 10.03 now here in West Michigan. I hope you had, had a good weekend. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for new subscribers. Like I got a book coming in the mail. I got a couple books coming in the mail. Haven't gone to any thrift stores. I'm kind of burnt out on that. I'm trying, like I said, to get rid of books now. I've been getting kind of freaked out about, I don't want to get overwhelmed like I did in the past last year. So yeah, I've been really enjoying these essays on nature, and I really uh, am enjoying reading Van Manstrit on um, predestination, even though it scares me, and going through the Gospels by reading this medieval spiritual writer, Rudolf of Saxony, and reading Beaky and Smalley on um, the biblical doctrine of sanctification or growing in holiness, becoming more holy for God, for be holy as God is holy. Holiness is the the end of of our uh, God's purpose in saving us is to make us holy as He is holy. So then read that and. Now I'm reading Jonathan Edwards on religious affections and drinking coffee and just seeking the Lord. So I hope you have a good week. Pray that the Lord will come quickly. And until next time, bye.